What's up everybody? Welcome to PED336 video for the week. Uh, so today we got to meet Dutch Eslick, uh, Coach Eslick and that was a great uh, presentation he gave us today. Great overview of coaching, philosophy, objectives, uh, talking about character, pretty much everything we've been talking about in class but definitely a real, real character guy and um, you know really appreciate ha having him in. So if you look at our assignment for next class, you're gonna have a Twitter assignment. And we've talked about what that Twitter assignment is, and this video is really to help you through that assignment. So what you'll do is you'll go to Twitter, um, and, or um, using Twitter, and what you're gonna do is search a famous basketball player, uh, football player, a coach, athlete, any, any individual who is famous who's on Twitter. So, who comes to my mind? LeBron. All right. So you're gonna find somebody on uh, Twitter, and what you're gonna do is find a quote from that individual. So let's just go to LeBron, and make sure it's certified. It's got the blue check mark there. And what you're gonna do is try to find a quote that kind of lines up with some of our thought process of our class so going through here you know looking for a quote looking for a quote um, it could be something like this if you want to be great and be the best you can be then just do it soak up as much knowledge as possible we're all here for you we want to see you reach your potential okay and so what you would do is you would write this down before class and then in class you'll write this on the whiteboard and what we're going to do is we're going to fill the whiteboard up with quotes from professional athletes. So when you get to class, you bring in your Twitter quote, you put it on the whiteboard, and that's pretty much what the Twitter assignment is. So if you're looking at um, today, which is 9-6, um, Twitter assignment and Twitter discussion. So after Michael leaves, we might get into the Twitter discussion, but I definitely want you to be prepared for that. So please, please bring in that Twitter quote to get your credit for class, and then be ready to take notes uh, with Michael. Um, he is the voice of the Seahawks. He'll give us a lot of information on networking and communications and in that area of media. So if you have questions for him, please look him up. Very easy to do. Um, easiest technique is just going like this. All right. And, you know, oh, maybe not there. Okay, so this is who's going to be coming in. All right, read, read his background, and then I want you to have a question ready for him. So you should be coming in with a quote from Twitter, so we can talk about society as it relates to sport, and why are we talking about society of sport? Because it's coaching sport and society. So we're looking at all aspects of sport uh, and how it relates to society. Other than that. If we look at our assignments, we talked about um, the book and article presentation. You should have a day where you're pres uh, presenting. Um, those days can be found on the uh, master schedule. So if you look at the master schedule, you'll notice that we have presenters okay, on these dates here. So from 10:23 all the way to 11:29. So whatever uh, presenting you will be doing. All right. You can also look here as a quick guide, whatever number you are, and then like we talked about with the um, let's see where is it. So when we look at our modules. And we look at our sport poster. You notice that on 11-6, you'll be coming to class so a month from today with your idea that you'll be presenting to the class. You won't have to bring in the poster that day. So just, just know that that's the day. If you don't have a partner, please email me. You need to have a partner for that assignment, or you can do it alone if you prefer. Um, other than that, 
you should be looking and you should be pretty comfortable with all this content. Uh, I am going to add chapters 4 and 5 next week and our first quiz is on chapters 1 through 5 so you really need to look at these um, outlines and make sure that you know the content that's in here. And Like I told you, I'm not going to go over every single slide in class. Okay, I'm going to do my best to go uh, through these slides, but I think a lot of these slides are self-explanatory. Okay, And I also think that um, reading the book is going to help you as well. So if you have the book and you've read chapters 1 through 5, then you're pretty much set. I mean, you should know the three coaching styles okay um, you should know you know what does cooperative coaching look like okay um, you need to know what leaders do okay um, you need to know that there's components of team culture what are those components okay so don't make sure that you're reading the material and you're reading chapters one through five uh, I've given a lot of that information you know on 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 canvas for you to look at and then I'm also going to make a quiz video to give you even a more pinpointed um, way of looking at it so here's your video for this week I told you I was going to send it to you just to try to keep you on pace for getting an A in this course um, so if you have any questions remember that um, you can email me at any time uh, remember that you are getting credit for these coaching presentations notes from discussion, quotes from discussion, and video links. So you should be keeping track of all these discussions and notes uh, for your portfolio. So I'll be looking at your portfolios during the midterm, and um, I'll give you about 10% of your grade um, when that's due. All right, so if you have any questions, please email me, and have a great day.